to stand on actually. But this one, if I send you to a war front, the enemy is the COVID, the, mic the microbes. Uh, parang maawa ako. I do not, please do not misunderstand me. I am making it clear now. I do not want you to go there and come back in a coffin. That's my, that's my only argument, if you may, because you are Filipinos, at mahal ko ang mga buhay ng kababayan ko. The COVID is here to stay. The vaccine prevents uh, the entry of the microbes into the body because they are attacked by the vaccines that were given by us. It's the same germ, a weakened one, but our body is now attuned. Alam na niya na kalaban ito. Ang problema kasi nitong COVID na ito, pagpasok sa katawan, hindi alam ng antibodies. So the, it was really a, a very virulent one uh, na overtaken yung ating defenses. <clears throat> now, itong vaccine, pag nabigyan ka, bakuna tayong lahat, kaya maliit pa, hindi na sila makapasok because once they attempt to infect you, ang antibodies, ma, maki, makilala na niya na kalaban ito. So, yun. Um, that, that, that's, that's the vaccine. So, now, that is how dangerous it is for itong ating mga uh, health workers. Then again, uh, we go back to the, well, that we cannot uh, be forever like this. I, I, I have to, uh, I, I, you'll, you'll just have to pound on your goddamn brain. Maghanap tayo ng paraan ko papaano talaga to. Whether we transport people or workers in buses provided by companies, sanitized, and uh, wearing masks, importante po whether or not there is really a medication or a medicine for COVID, it is still here trying to in naghihintay lang yan kung sinong masakyan yan eh. so importante talaga wear masks ang batas is really to enforce it now you have the police but there is as not much really in the provinces so it's going to be whether uh, they like it or not the armed forces must come in to help enforce a measure that is intended to protect the people and prevent the spread of COVID uh, any further. Now, sa Sambuanga, Cagayan, ngayon lang pumutok. That's a problem because... Uh, before, uh, na, I, I do not want to quarrel with the mayors, but uh, they took the warnings nonchalant. Now, one, one contamination to the other, ngayon pumutok, pumutok na. So, that's a problem. Now, you, you see, you've heard that... Uh, uh, there are still thousands to worry about of returning Filipinos to our country. Now, uh, itong isa is whether we can stop them from going out. Na reverse mo yan. The problem now is itong mga Pilipinong pabalik, hindi tinatanggap ng local governments. Now, it will boil down to the power of the president to promulgate rules and regulations to protect public health. 
which is actually an exercise of the police power of the state, as against the Bill of Rights. Because some uh, workers coming from the outside are not welcome. Simply, they are not being accepted by the local governments. So, mahirap ito. This is a constitutional issue. I'd, li I'd like to address myself to the local executives. Uh, it is your duty to help and protect your constituents. I have no quarrel. Now you want the contagion stop right there, there at the doorstep. Wag ka na lang pumasok dito because it contaminated the whole of the family in the house. But you know, Filipinos are citizens of this country. And whether we like it or not, they have this constitutional right to travel and to travel abroad and to come home uh, after working there. Uh, this cannot just be uh, just by the wave of the hand. So we have to study this. Uh, we'll have to spend again. Uh, we will uh, have to gather them in a place or yung mga hindi nagamit, uh, doon na muna sila, and then we can uh, make provisions for the food and everything. Rather than just leave them there stranded, uh, if they have the money in their pockets, I'm sure that was intended uh, as a saving uh, for the family. At mauubos yung pera na yan that they would go home with uh, their pockets empty. We do not want that to happen. So I would like to assure mga kababayan ko, gusto kong maghanap ako ng paraan na tulungan kayo. Yung mga kababayan ninyo, mga kapatid, na mother, father, sister, brother, stranded here uh, kung clear na if they are really cleared by the medical authorities that is binding especially if it is well it has to be the certification of the department of health if the department of health your department secretary Doge, would certify that he, she has undergone the test not only against uh, the presence of antibodies, but the, vi the, the virus itself, that she is uh, virus-free, then we have to make arrangement that they can go home. Uh, we'll just uh, we will just ihatid talaga natin ito sila doon kasi Cannot, hindi, we have stalemate here. What do we do with people waiting? Tapos okay naman sila. So you have to go into a testing every each and every one of them, and uh, uh, find out if they are fit to return, and that she she or he is not a threat to the community. But to say that just uh, hindi kayo pwedeng pumasok even coming from abroad and even if staying there for already more than 14 days without uh, anything happening to them, then the national government, makinig kayong local executives, the national government will insist that you accept the OFW. Magkakaroon ho tayo ng problema if you resist. Because then, uh, 
as a worker of government, it falls upon my shoulders to see to it that everything is done fail. And so, uh, I'll, I'll listen to Secret uh, uh, Vince. Uh, okay. Mayor, just on that note po, just for your information po, um, nung pong nag-lockdown uh, po tayo nung March, uh, meron pong mga 200 na OFWs na na-stranded po sa Clark, uh, most of them from Mindanao, uh, 38 of them from Davao. And we took care of them po, we housed them in a hotel uh, for about a month and a half now. And I'm happy to report po through the help of the Department of Transportation and the National Task Force. Uh, today po, the 38 uh, Davao residents already went home to Davao today. Sir, uh, actually sir, we have prepared for the, for the OFWs uh, for their return. In fact, uh, they're being fed by uh, OWA. Uh, the, the hotel uh, uh, accommodations is being paid by OWA and also by the uh, manning, manning companies. So they are well, well taken care of, sir. Then uh, we will, uh, we will uh, give you a presentation by, by uh, Mr. Vince on, on how we will immediately uh, swab uh, our, uh, we, we organize a micro swabbing uh, areas so that all the OFWs will be swabbed immediately so that they can go home. After they were tested negative, maybe after three days or four days, they can uh, go home already with the certification of the Bureau of Quarantine that they are COVID free. Yes, I, I, I think that there's uh, no valid reason really to delay the return yes, yes, if they are uh, found to be free from yes. infection. Yes, sir. Sir. To, to, to dilly dally on this, uh, uh, it's uh, to me a cruel thing and it is not good for. I, I'm happy that you have. Uh, uh, and Unahan and you were step ahead yes, sir. and I said you're prepared. Sir, actually, sir, we prepared with, uh, because I'm taking orders uh, from uh, Secretary of DOH and also with the National Task Force and the ISILG. We are co coordinating, sir. That's why we make a, a, a plan on how we can swab them immediately so that uh, after three days, we can swab all these uh, 23,000 percent. So maybe we can, sir, uh, we, can, uh, we can have... Pressure. Before that, may I just... Uh, say that uh, itong mga uh, medical people, uh, you know, you have your own uh, opinion, your own uh, view of uh, what is good and what is not. So, alam mo yan, there are those who agree with you and those who vehemently uh, disagree with you. Uh, gusto ko lang malaman ng lahat na ang Secretary ng Department of Health ay si Secretary Duque. And this government, my government, my department will be guided by what Secretary Duque would tell us to do. Uh, I may listen to, to the, the conflicting claims, but in the end, uh, it is the Secretary who felt who decides uh, his... Your word is the, the lawyer, because we are not... Uh, and I'm sure that uh, you'll be helping. But before that, uh, uh, as of today, there is 9,485 cases yung positive ito. Ang what is very uh, significant is the uh, recovery rate of uh, the persons who are uh, hospitalized or, or had this uh, uh, infection. It's 1,315 and that is a good number if you compare it to the deaths, uh, uh, 623. Now, come to think of it, really, mababa ang ano natin. 
they said that uh, itong uh, koronang putres na to uh, uh, has a hard time surviving in a hot uh, tem high temperature. So pagkaganon, maybe that explains the reason why na hindi naman masyado marami. Look, we cooperate with us, wear a mask, because if not, kung magsabay-sabay, then we will have an overload. Now, do not tell me later on na hindi tayo nag-prepare. Because we have so many hospitals. That's why it's called pandemic. Uh, it's local. It's epidemic. Pandemic is worldwide. Tinamaan lahat. So, just cooperate because wala naman kami hangarin dito para pahirapan kayo. As a matter of fact, we are really trying to figure out how, how we can ease up uh, the, the miseries that has, that, uh, that has been imposed on us. I just wanted to start po, um, with the permission of Secretary Duque and Secretary Galvez. Um, with a quote from the WHO, no? and I think it's very important for us to understand how important testing is in this battle against COVID-19. Uh, and I just want to read the highlighted part. You cannot fight a fire blindfolded. And we cannot stop this pandemic if we don't know who is infected. There is a simple message for all countries. And that message from the WHO is to test, test, test. Uh, sabi nga po ni General Galvez, uh, Kumbaga sa gera po, kailangan i-unmask natin yung kalaban. No? Kasi kung, kung, kung ano, kung hindi natin ititest, hindi po natin alam kung sino po ang nahawaan na nitong kalaban na ito. Ang kalaban po ay yung disease, hindi po yung taong may sakit. Ang kalaban po ay yung sakit itself. But to unmask that, we have to test. So, it also... I think it's very important, especially from a communications point of view, uh, Mayor, that we need to ramp up testing to save lives. And alam naman po, yung mga kababayan natin, marami sa kanila, higit na nakararami sa kanila, eh ganito po silang mamuhay, no? Dikit-dikit sa bahay, uh, wala naman pong ability to self-isolate. So kailangan po talaga i-test natin ang mga kababayan natin uh, para po mahiwagay natin ang mga may sakit dun sa hindi may sakit. At protektahan po natin yung further spread ng COVID-19. And as you said earlier, Mr. President, po, um, hirap na hirap na po mga kababayan natin, hirap na po ang ekonomiya. Kaya the only way, and this is, an, this is just drawing from the global examples, sa New Zealand po, nakawala po sila sa lockdown, simply because they moved swiftly, they tested wildly, and they relied heavily, uh, heavily on good science. And I think we are guided by Secretary Duque and his team on the science part. What the challenge now is really, how do we ramp up our testing to the levels uh, in which we can be comfortable enough to start easing the restrictions because we know that if we have the testing capacity, mabigis po tayong makakatest, mabigis po nating ma-identify kung sino ang may sakit, at dahil dun po mabigis natin silang ma-isolate at mapipigilan ng pag-surge ng infection sa community. So, the first um, critical issue po with respect to testing is the laboratory testing. Ito po yung sinasabi po kanina ni Secretary Duque na matagal na talaga niyang pinag, uh, tinutulak na mag-ramp up po tayo ng lab testing, yung pong tinatawag na RT-PCR. This is really the most effective way of testing for COVID-19. So, just to give us a, an idea, in February of 2020, we had three laboratories. In now, we have 20 laboratories. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao na po yan. Our goal, uh, Mayor, is to build 
58 more or to accredit and uh, operate 58 more laboratories para po by May 30 in w less than a month from now we will have 78 laboratories all over the countries strategically located in areas that can really address the future surges in the communities all over the country. Right now, Paul, there are about 58 already in the advanced stages of accreditation. And that is really what we need to do, Paul. We need to speed up, and uh, Secretary Duque emphasized this, Paul, we need to speed up the accreditation of these labs in order for them to begin operation within the month of May. As an example, Paul, no, um, I, I, uh, this is really not meant to uh, no, no, uh, either uh, pat our backs or also at the same time belittle us. But if we look at Vietnam, Mr. Mr. President, Mayor Paul, no, Vietnam, Paul, in January of 2020, had three labs. Patlo po ang laboratories nila. Ngayon po, they now have 112 laboratories. No, um, and this is, I think, we can, we can draw from the experience of Vietnam and all other countries like Korea and Germany, those that have tested very, very swiftly and very broadly. Kasi ito po talaga ang way. Once na we have enough testing capacity, sabi nga po ni Secretary Duque at ni Secretary Galvez, mas magiging kampanti po tayo na mag-ease ng restriction. So, test per day, we look at the best countries in the world. Germany is ahead 120,000 tests per day. No, very, very aggressive po. And talaga pong gumastos siga ng katodo-todo dito. No? This is not cheap. ART-PCR test ranges anywhere between, I think, 2,000 to, for the private labs, I think it goes up to above 5,000. No, it's, it's not cheap. But, it is absolutely necessary, Paul. We need to really invest in the testing capacity. Also because we know that a vaccine is not forthcoming soon. After detecting, uh, testing, and tracing, we need po to isolate. Kaya po nung pong, um, kaka-appoint lang po ni Secretary Galvez, uh, as Chief Implementor, tinawagan po niya si Secretary Villar and myself, para po bilisan ang pagtatayo ng mga mega quarantine facilities. Uh, at kailangan na rin po nating i-fast track ang construction ng mga ito sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas. Nung pong, Friday, uh, nung pong Saturday, nasa Zamboanga po kami ni Secretary Galvez and uh, tutulungan na po natin si Mayor Ben Climaco na magtayo ng quarantine facilities nila uh, dahil nga po may upsurge in cases sa Zamboanga. So we have to isolate them. Uh, then we have to treat them. No? Yung isolation point treatment, they go hand in hand because we want to uh, make sure that our hospitals do not get too congested. Uh, under the efforts po of the DOH and the IATF, nagtayo po tayo ng mga mega swabbing centers. Dahil po hindi lang lab uh, mayor ang ating challenge. No? Kasi po, kahit na po tayo may lab, kung wala naman pong specimen na itetest yung lab, eh hindi po natin matetest ang ating mga kababayan. So ngayon po, may napakalaking effort initiated by the Executive Secretary na kumuha po ng mga volunteers from all government agencies to come out and help in the swabbing uh, and encoding and uh, barcoding of our mega swabbing centers. We are building four today. We started po last week and they will all be completed this week. Secretary Galvez. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, for, for now, sir, we will uh, uh, prioritize the 20, 25,000 OFWs. As per your instruction, we will, uh, we will uh, make sure that uh, they, will, they will go home uh, immediately. Sir, uh, I would like to report on uh, uh, on my compliance to you pertaining uh, going going to the field. So when uh, we heard that uh, Sambanga is already uh, there is a spike of uh, cases, uh, we, we you know we, we talk with uh, the mayor, and uh, as a uh, immediate immediate actions that you have give, give the instruction, we will you know, we will uh, we visited the three laboratories there in uh, in uh, Sambanga and we we brought 1,100 kids po sir. Yung po ang instruction sa akin na pag kami nangangailangan, kailangan po uh, ibigay po kaagad. 
So kahapon po, nagpadala ulit tayo-tayo ng another C295, yung more or less na 46 boxes ng RITM para ma-operationalize yung, yung uh, Department, of, uh, Agri uh, Depar Department of Agriculture Laboratory na doon po nilagay yung laboratory po ng, uh, ng ating uh, mahal na Sektar Duque. Uh, baka mo mag maging operational po na po yun within the, within, within the month. So tatlong uh, laboratory po ang uh, itatayo po natin sa sa Sambuanga City to also cater yung Sambuanga Peninsula, Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. As sinabi ko po kay Mayor na kailangan po uh, pangalagaan niya rin po yung Bangsamoro dahil kasi yung kanya pong uh, location, isa po ang melting pot ng, ano po, ng, ng barn sa Region 9. And uh, he, he accepted the uh, uh, our and uh, he want, want to convey her thanks to you, sir, for acting immediately uh, during the you know the, the time that they need because they, they text me and they, they they said please help us. So immediately we the Secretary of National Defense uh, ordered me to to proceed to 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 Sambuaga City, sir. So I complied, sir, with your instruction, sir. And uh, our no our PPE uh, two hundred thousand will be brought to uh, Davao. Uh, as per instruction, your instruction also, it will be uh, our uh, uh, main depot so that all, all the supplies be needed by, by Mindanao will be taken from, from the Bowser. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody, beginning from Secretary Duque, Secretary Andio, Secretary Galvez. Ay, ang ating workhorse talaga dito. Well, I know that you uh, overwork kayong lahat, especially Harid masyado yung ano mo secretary doke, but that is the price of uh, uh, public service. You are crucified, you are uh, lahat na uh, criticized severely, but in the end, when you retire or even uh, for the day, you sleep and, uh, and if you think that uh, what you did for the country, medyo ano ka na, kumpante ka na. So, this I would like to, I'd like to address myself also to General Anyo. The responsibility of controlling COVID is not a national responsibility only. A part of government Kaya nga dito, I operate as president then since I cannot run my own errands, mataming trabaho, so meron akong Secretary of Health because I cannot be my the Secretary of Health defense lahat na. So, uh, I cannot, uh, as the saying goes, I cannot run my own errands. I function through the cabinet and down the line ang local government falls under the DILG headed by uh, Secretary Anyo. Uh, kailangan tumulong kayo. Even in the matter of the swabbing thing, uh, if you can provide a place uh, uh, for the uh, health uh, guys to operate uh, comfortably and immediately do it Para sa inyo yun. Trabaho ninyo yan eh. Hindi lang yan trabaho ng local government. Just don't tell us to uh, buha problema yan. Tapos sabihin ninyo mag-close-close kayo dyan. Well, I, 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 I see the, the validity of that move. But then again, you have to, you know, come to terms with the Constitution. Uh, I heard also, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, uh, sa city of Iloilo, hindi ninyo tinanggap yung mga OFW. Uh, sir, uh, Mayor, uh, nakikiusap ako sa inyo na uh, sundin lang ninyo yung guidelines. Uh, I will uh, operate through the DILG. Kasi... It's either sumunod kayo or I will impose it on you. Sumunod kayo sa magandang paraan o pipilitin ko na sumunod kayo. Which is actually, uh, you know, I do not want to embarrass people. 
I, I have uh, full faith and confidence. I say Iloilo siguro, I think by this time uh, it has been uh, uh, resolved. Importante lang that uh, uh, the returning workers, uh, our brothers and sisters who have labored abroad uh, to give us also their share of uh, their income with us. Kaya yung uh, remittances ng dollar is uh, one of the uh, pillars ng ating economy. Uh, GDP niya is uh, malaki ang binibigay ng OFW. And we do not want to repay them with this kind of behavior. So Davao, I think, uh, Inday has uh, accepted it according to Bong and the others. The other I don't know, places, do not play heroes. Uh, 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 avoid it because, uh, uh, I said, we remain to be a unitary form of government. We are not federal. Federal, makaano ka? Because you have a great uh, uh, thing about uh, local autonomy in its, in its uh, purest uh, form. Ang Pilipinas hindi po, it's presidential type and uh, being controlled by the national government, lalo na itong mga ganito. I do not have to lecture. I just want to remind people also listening na ganun ho ang ating patakaran. Now, uh, yung baka sakali, uh, itong mga lalabas, observe the in the meantime, kindly, please kindly observe the mask and the distance rule. Yung medyo malayo ka na. Huwag kayong magdikit-dikit because yung nga sabi nila eh. The easiest way to transmit is to be kissing each other. And that's the worst kind of transmission. Uh, if you want to transmit your love, go ahead. But you know, uh, not uh, all people are your lovers. So you better keep the distance. At itong... Uh, yung mga big business. Uh, let me tell you something. Meron tayong mga problema noon which was really part of governance, and which I hope you'd understand that it was really part of my sworn duty as, a, the, as an employee of the government uh, who heads the executive department. Words were, uh, well, uh, mainly mine, but uh, if you just can forget it uh, for the moment, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping us, helping us, uh, you know, provide the necessities of the moment. Uh, we, we can, uh, I, I can promise you that uh, I'll be nice uh, and uh, if you want to see me, we can talk and uh, Naubos na ho yung pagkasuplado ko kasi dahil sa the COVID, the COVID, the COVID humbled me. That uh, with the kind of uh, response that uh, you gave, uh, showed to the public, uh, it's a humbling experience also for me. That, uh, you know, baka kailangan mo rin sila balang araw. So maybe uh, there will be a lot of uh, legal issues, but we can talk. I am, am ready to talk, uh, and I'd be reasonable. Uh, yung mga masakit kung salita uh, to the Ayalas and to uh, uh, si Pangilinan, uh, I, I apologize. 
for the hurting words. Uh, if you can find in your heart to uh, forgive me, uh, because uh, if you do not, then I will ask, and the, and the, if you do not want to forgive me, I will uh, undercut you. I'll go direct to God. <laughs> God, I ako patawaran itong, itong si, ano, uh, magyaw, yaw naman ako. So, itong pinakamahuli, I'd like to, say again, uh, it, it did involve the, pero be careful because, again, the inpays are around. Now, uh, uh, there is no longer hope for uh, further talks with the uh, season. So, itong tracing, ito bang uh, positive ka tapos nakausap mo o na-embrace na, na, na mo o naghalikan kayo tapos naghiwalay na kayo. It's the tracing eh. Iti-trace namin yung tao, sino ang mga kausap mo sa mga araw na to. Kailang ka nagkaroon ng chills, uh, fever. So from that time, you reckon that uh, you had already, uh, you have been infected already. And so we begin to trace the people whom you have, con have contact with, talk with. Because uh, easily... Uh, the, 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 the virus, uh, especially if it's uh, baski mag-usap lang, uh, delikado ang, ang hangin. Eh. So, itong tracing would uh, ano ito, trabaho talaga ito ng mga barangay uh, and the police. Uh, but gusto kong anuhin ang police, eh, kaya lang Times are not really normal. Uh, talagang papatayin kayo ng NPA. Pag makita kayo because they want your firearms. Uh, alam mo, mainit masyado yung M16 pati M14. I know that. They're itching to get it from you. That is why be careful Kayong mga sundalo ko, pati mga polis, ngayon na, huwag kayong magkumpiyansa. Do not be too confident about it. Pati ang istasyon na raid They will kill you. And I'm telling you, kill them also. Kaya lang, hindi ko kayo mauto sa mag-tracing. Sana madali, may sakyan. Eh, kaya lang delikado. So, Dito na ako sa local government sa mga mayors. Uh, Secretary and you would provide the guidelines of how you can help us. We are not asking you. We are requesting you to help us. Kasi hindi talaga kaya ng national government lang. Without the local executives patay, we will crumble. So, your, your, your toil is as good as mine. Nasabay-sabay tayo. And meron dito na ano. Uh, sinabi ko na sa inyo noon, wag sa panahong ito. Merong mga, wala akong, ano, ayab, basta local government uh, Employees. Lahat naman tayo, workers eh. Diretsuhin natin, local government workers. I do not want to, uh, to mention titles here. Meron, sinabi ko na sa inyo, huwag ninyo, do not. Lang kay, good boy ako nga. Na. Uh, uh, hindi ako magmura. Sinabi ko na sa inyo na kung may gawin kayo, huwag sa panahong ito. Alam ko noon pa, sinabi ko na sa kanila na ako nagre-resist, na ipadala ko sa... Alam nila, ano? Kasi pagdating yan sa local government units, the mayor, si Bing, 
O Beng ba yan? Si Beng, uh, pati si, sila, sila Inday, talagang nagtatrabaho. Pero yung mga minsan, down the line, downstream, sa so, ano, wala naman kang kasing, walang tao na sa karami thousands ito, de, we requested the local government units. Ang mga mayors naman, kindly, kindly look into the people that you have commissioned to do the distribution sa pera. Kagaya nitong uh, Barangay Kagawad Danilo Flores ng Agustin Hagunoy Bulacan. Ang putang ina mo, nakuha ka pa ng you know, the, uh, television na may ano doon, grab, or oh, it's not grab, it's uh, actually a eh, nakuha ka na hinihingi mo. <laughs> Mahirap na nga, ikaw may trabaho ka na, kagawad ka, ang putang ina, kukunin mo pa yung pera ng mahirap. I would like to presume that you were elected because your constituents find you to be a man of uh, integrity, honesty, and that you can perform. So, wala akong ano dyan. Kaya naistingnan niya itong mga empleyado na ito. So, wag ka. Pati itong for peace. Sabi ko na nga yung, eh, this is a directive. This is a, a direct order to everybody. Pag mag-distribute kayo ng pera, wag ninyong ibigay sa mga putang inang yung mga asawang na. Ibigay ninyo sa babae to the wife. Huwag ninyong ibigay dyan sa mga lalaki, lalaki mga walang, wala na nga ginagawa, wala nang, walang trabaho, walang binibigay sa pamilya at mayroon pang dadating na pera, sinusugal naman ninyo iniipot. Kung ako ang mayor, maabutan mo, drinking ang gambling, sa tulong ng tao. Ano? Nasabihin mo, hindi na mabigyan. That is also unfair. You know why? Kaya kakaramihan itong mga gagong to, hindi naman naniniwala sa... They don't really care about the family. So, kung sabihin mo na hindi mo nabigyan, eh, paano yung mga bata, pati anak? So... Uh, well, I'm sure, uh, Secretary, uh, and you will can pro provide a mechanism about to, to do it. Either we give you the supplies, uh, hang, hang, ano, yung, sa, sa, uh, the amount that you are going to receive. We can always give you the equal value of what you should be receiving. Pagkain na lang. Kasi yung ibigay mo, baka itong mga wala ng trabaho, ibigay mo naman sa asawa yung pera, maglasing doon sa labas, tapos pagbalik, inutil na nga ang putang ina niya, magbubugin pa ang asawa. Wala namang ibang mabugbo. Bakit hindi ka magbubog niyang... Hanap ka ng polis dyan, no? Batukan mo ulo. Para makita mo. Ito mga to, marami yan. They are a plenty. Kaya yung mga Pilipino, pag malasing, wala nang binibigay sa pamilya, nang bugbog pa ng pamilya, bata pati... Uh, mga kababayan ko, I hope that uh, I have enlightened you about what we are doing. Lahat ito wala. Itong lahat discussion na ito, COVID tapos to protect and save the Filipino. That is all there is to it. Maraming salamat po. Inatasan po ako ng ating Pangulo. 
na inanunsyo na sa kagustuhan po ng ating Pangulo na matigil yung pangungura ko at pagdating po sa SAP at iba pang ayuda ng gobyerno na ginawa po ni Kagawad Danilo Flores ng Hagono ng Bulacan, siya po ay magbibigay ng pabuya ng 30,000 pesos sa lahat po na magre-report ng mga local officials na kumakana o kinukurakot ang mga ayuda para po sa mga mahihirap. Tumawag lang po kayo sa 8888. Siyempre po, kung gusto nyo ng ayuda, eh, mag-iiwan kayo ng pangalan at telephone number. At pag napatunayan po yung inyong reklamo sa korupsyon laban sa mga lokal, lokal na opisyales na kinukurakot yung mga ayuda na pinamimigay ng gobyerno, 30,000 pesos po ang pabuya na ibibigay ng ating presidente sa inyo. Alin sunod po ito sa zero tolerance na ating presidente laban sa korupsyon, lalo-lalo na po doon sa mga kumakana at kumukurakot ng ayuda para sa mga mahihirap.